Today I'm going to show you how to use dice, base 10 blocks, and a chart to build a three digit number and represent it using base 10 blocks. First I'm going to roll my dice. Then I'm going to see that I can build a three digit number. I can build the number 124. When I look at 124, I know that the 1 is in the hundreds place, the 2 is in the tens place, and the 4 is in the ones place. If I want to use my base 10 blocks, I know that my units represent my ones. So I need 4 units to represent my 4 ones. My rods represent my tens, so I need 2 rods to represent my two tens. And my flats represent my hundreds. So I need one flat to represent my one hundred. If I wanted to draw this on my page, I would draw this as a square. I would draw my rods as just a line. And then I'd draw my units as a small square. So, I'm going to add my two rods and four units. So now I can see that I have my manipulatives as well as my picture to show me. If we were practicing counting on, I would add one unit and know that now I've made 125. Then if I wanted to practice my counting on by fives, I could use this. I would grab five units and I would add them. It's easy if you make them into an array to be able to count by twos. I already know that I had five before and I added five beside it and I know that if I count by fives, it goes five and then 10. Now that I've added five, my hundreds and my tens have stayed the same, so I have 120 and I have a 10. Now we can see that 120 10 really doesn't make sense. So I need to look and see that if I put these all together, it looks like a rod. If I measure with my rod, I can see that 10 units makes one rod. That means that I can exchange these 10 units for one rod. So if I added 5 to 125, I now have 130. If I were then wanting to count by 10s, I would just add a rod. If I add one rod here, I'll add it to my drawing. I have 104 rods, which is 40. If I kept adding 10s, I would then have 150, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now I have 100, 100. I can then see that my 10 rods are going to be the same as one flat. So I'm going to take my 10 rods and I'm going to exchange them for one flat. And then I would draw that here so that now I have two flats, which is 200. 